you're about to answer the question, is a VMAX as fast as a Harley Davidson? Many times I'll have riders follow me through particular exercises. In the offset cone loop that you're seeing here, speed should be about 10 to 12 miles per hour. 10 as you're going towards the cones, sometimes slowing down to maybe 8 or 9 while you're making the tight turn, but somewhere between 10 and 12 miles per hour. Like, like the VMAX would probably do this at 15, maybe up to 18 miles per hour, but I find that the rider behind me, I explain to the rider, all he needs to do is look at me because wherever I am, he needs to be at that point a split second later. It helps with the head and eyes. problem riders have in just about all the exercises is going too slow. If you're below five miles per hour, there's more force pulling you to the ground than pulling you forward. The idea is to get that speed up to anywhere above five miles an hour, the bike's not going to fall, and the faster you go, the further you'd be able to lean the motorcycle. Of course, you're in the friction zone the entire time, a little bit of pressure on the rear brake, and if someone is leading you through, just look at that person, because wherever they're at, that's where you need to be. Big problem, going too slow, is you're just not in as much control as you need to be of the motorcycle. This doesn't always help, but about 70% of the time it gets the rider to pick up their speed a bit. And at the very least, it shows them the speed they should be going. If they fall way behind, that's telling them at some point they're slowing down. And that usually is about the halfway point that the rider starts to slow down. What we're actually doing here is no sooner do you make a right turn than you need to make a left turn. Right turn, left turn. Feel that bike transition quickly from side to side. That's what this exercise teaches. If you never practice swerving, well, the time the car pulls out in front of you, you need to make that swerve. That's not the time to practice it. We train under controlled conditions for actual incidences on the road. This rider is doing very well despite the fact that her bars are too far forward. The bars she has, if she pulled them back, loosened them up and pulled them back about two, three inches or so, it'd make her sharp turns a lot easier. The closer the bars are to your chest, the more leverage you're going to have. Despite that, she did very well.